Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane and today I wanted to show you guys how to install the new Cyanogen Mod 7 for the Droid X. Uh, that's something that has just recently come out uh, over the past couple of nights. It is in beta. Uh, by beta I mean that it is broken. Uh, there are several things that are not functioning at this time such as GPS, YouTube, um, and several other things. For the most part though, you can use it. Um, because you, you can receive calls, you can do 3G data, just about all the apps are going to work, uh, but several things do not work. Um, if you need email, it does sync. Um, all that stuff that you'll need for day-to-day -day functioning will be there, and it's actually in very good shape. There are just a few things, like I said, the GPS and the YouTube, and a couple of other things that have to be ironed out. Uh, but it's definitely in a condition where I would suggest that you go ahead and try it out. It absolutely speeds up your phone. Um, the reason it's taken so long to get there is because of this locked bootloader, uh, but CVPS has found a way through a process that he calls second init to hijack uh, the kernel. And we're still using the same kernel, but we can run our own processes on that same kernel and make it seem as if it's a different kernel. And it actually does speed up the phone by a whole lot. I've been playing around with it the past couple of days. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to install it. There are two methods. CVPS recommends uh, his method, which is just to install the zip from SD card, but the only catch to that is you have to SBF back to factory Froyo. Um, go to my guide. I have an SBF tutorial uh, in the channel. And then also, you know, you'd have to Z4 root it and then have the Droid 2 bootstrapper and then just install his file. And that's simple enough, but you do have to SBF to go that route. And the one that I want to show you today is uh, the method that was released by Team Black Hat. CVPS is not going to support this method, so you'll have to check the link in this description to keep the keep it updated. Um, with CM7, you guys probably know that they release things on a regular basis uh, through a process they call nightlies. But anyways, we'll go ahead and get into it. So with the method that I'm going to show you, you can come from any ROM. Um, I SBF my phone because I was already on Cyanogen Mod 7 and you cannot use the D2 bootstrap from Cyanogen Mod. It has its own built-in recovery and you have to use that recovery. So that's something else to keep in mind. Once you're in CM7, you can flash other ROMs to CM7 uh, as long as they're on the .32 kernel. Uh, but you cannot use D2 bootstrap or you have to use uh, the recovery method that's pre-installed there. Uh, so once you have D2 bootstrap and you're rooted. In this case I am on Froyo but you can be on any ROM and flash this uh, TBH CM7 updater. Uh, so bootstrap recovery and click OK and reboot recovery. Now you can get this uh, it's called monstercm7.zip. You can get it from the link in the description. And it's an all-in-one updater. It's going to SBF your phone for you and then install the CM7 update. Uh, the other way that you could go is you could SBF your phone and uh, wipe data factory reset in D2, I mean in Clockwork Recovery and install the zip. Um, you'll find that zip that you need also at the website and if you were going that way of course you would uh, wipe data first and then you would wipe cache and then you would go to install zip from SD card and you would choose zip from SD card and you would find the update cm7.zip which is cvps's file and then of course you would find that and it's called update CM710 RCO Droid X Kang Sign Zip. So it's that big long name there and uh, you won't be able to forget that. But for now we're going to go back. I'm going to show you how to do the all-in-one method. This way you can flash it from any ROM. And the way you would do that is uh, first you need to go down to mounts and storage. Do not skip this. This is very important. You'll have to do this. Uh, go down to Format System first, click OK, go down to Yes Format, give it a few seconds and it will format the system, and then go down to Format Data, go to Yes Format, then go to Format Cache, 
and yes format and then select mount system go back install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and then find that monster CM7 update file and this is the all-in-one method that I'm showing you. This SBFs your phone and then installs the CM7 update. This is the easiest way to do it and you can do it from any ROM without SBFing your phone. Uh, it's called Monster CM7 All-One Zip. So go ahead and select that and install and you'll see that it's starting and staying here in a second. You'll see Team Black Hat's logo there and there it is. It does take about five minutes, so I'm going to pause here. Okay, now, when I'm finished here, uh, it says, finish installing CM7 from uh, for the Droid X. Make sure you wipe data. Um, it's telling me that it was completed, but when I did this the first time coming from a custom ROM, it told me that the radio... Uh, had, it gave me an error for that, which is perfectly normal. That's what it's supposed to do. If that happens, don't worry. Uh, you can go back. And then if you want to apply the G apps, um, if you want to apply the G apps such as like the Gmail, the voice search, and all that stuff, um, there is a link for that included in the link in the description. It did not work for me. What it's supposed to do, if it works, is when you sign into the market, it's supposed to automatically download all those applications for you, but it did not work for me. Uh, but anyways, you would install that zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then find the G apps zip. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot the system. And of course, it takes quite a while to boot up. I'm going to show you guys the boot animation and then pause it because it takes several minutes for it to boot completely on the first boot up. Now if you did not SPF your phone and you were coming from a uh, some kind of custom ROM, do make sure that you wipe data before you reboot because if you don't you could boot loop. Okay so there is your new Cyanogen Mod 7 boot animation and while this boots up, I'm going to go ahead and pause it real quick. Okay, so you will get this screen, and you'll need to activate your phone. I just click activate and hold the speaker down. It's going to ask. It's going to give you several options. Just select option one. It'll program the phone for you. Over-the-air programming. This call is airtime free. And the way you'll bring up your keyboard is just hold down the menu button, and there's your keyboard. Go to the numbers, press one, and that'll activate your phone. Okay, and so if it asks you to sync everything, you just skip through that. Uh, if you, if, if uh, the installer hung up on the radio and then said that it, the installation failed, then what you'll need to do is go and flash it again. Uh, but this time you'll go through the CM7 uh, clockwork recovery. So uh, hit the power button, bring up the phone options, click reboot, and then uh, click on recovery and select OK. That's going to boot you back into Clockwork Recovery. You'll go back through there and install the zip. And uh, that same that same zip that we installed before, the Monster CM7 Update zip, that's the same one that you want to install. And this is just going to uh, make that radio flash on through that way. Uh, your GPS, uh, well not your GPS, but like your phone calls and your 3G can function properly. So as soon as that comes up, we're just going to go down to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and go down to downloads, wherever you keep your, go to download and go to that monster CM7 all one dot zip. Now it completed earlier for me so I'm not going to do it again. Uh, but if it hung up on you and it did not complete, just do that again and when it finishes go back to reboot system now and reboot it and as soon as it comes back up for me I'm gonna give you guys a quick review okay so the first thing you'll notice is this AOSP lock screen 
And then of course you can see how fast it is directly from the boot. Here you've already got your app dock loads up. Uh, a few things that I want to show you guys. You do have your spare parts and your dev tools. And in settings, uh, you see you have ADW launcher settings. ADW is included. Uh, I like to mess with my app drawer and, uh, well not the app drawer, I'm sorry. Go to system preferences or not. Uh, okay, UI settings, you can change your dock at the bottom. I like the five icons. And I wanted to show you one other thing. Where is it at? Screen preferences maybe. Okay, desktop transition. You can actually change that and I like the page. And when you go back here, you've got, see your, your dock bar is bigger and then whenever you scroll from page to page, you see how it gives you that neat effect. Okay, another thing that I wanted to show you guys is the music mod. Um, on CM7, you can control your music application from uh, the lock screen. So go ahead and I'll start. See, you can just run through there and uh, you turn your screen off and bring your screen back up. You see down here you have, uh, you can pause it. At the bottom you can pause it and play it and you can skip through. Many people have uh, tried to include this into their ROMs and it doesn't always work, but this one does work. And that was one of the things that really excited me, that it actually works. Uh, like I said, email syncs, and you get your, your calling and your 3G works. It is beta, but uh, it is very usable. In fact, I'm going to keep this on my phone until a nightly comes out to update it. Or, you know, maybe if P3Droid drops the Tranquility G-Spot on us, I might uh, try that out for a little while. Uh, another thing that I wanted to show you guys is in settings. You do have signage and mod settings. And you can change all kinds of things in here. Um, your display animations, you can change that. And your interface can be changed here. All kinds of different tweaks and settings and customizations that you can make in that menu. Um, of course, if you go down to About Phone, it's going to tell you that you're on 2.3.4 and that you're on the Cyanogen mod see what else was there to show you guys. You have this awesome little theme chooser and you can choose different themes. I'm sure they'll add themes to this as uh, the nightlies roll out but all you have to do is click apply and it automatically applies that theme for you and see you're already, you already have your theme there. So if we go back to home you'll see that everything is light blue there and uh, of course everything just works perfectly here. Everything is very very fast. Um, okay another thing I wanted to show you guys is that you do have the CM7 wallpapers. So if you come in here you can go to wallpapers and you got Cyanogen Mod 7 wallpapers here and there's several that you can choose from. Um, what else was there? Okay you can go to in your widgets here you have a widget that comes with CM7 is called render FX and you can choose an effect like uh, we'll just say blue and add that widget and if you click it on then see it turns your screen blue like that that's pretty neat uh, so there's several different things in here is it, like I said it's extremely fast and there's updates to come um, so many things in here that I can't even mention. My suggestion is just to go ahead and install it and play around with it. Um, lots and lots of cool stuff and a lot of cool stuff to come. To stay updated on everything uh, that has to do with the Droid X, go to droidmoderx.wordpress.com and there I'll keep you updated with all the latest information. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. You can follow me at droidmoderx on Twitter. And uh, if you like my case here, I'm selling these $7 for one or $12 for two. Go to droidmoderx.wordpress.com and check out the home page, and I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Intoxicated.